This week, we are focusing on common misspelled words and challenging vocabularies to help students improve their reading and writing skills. Word number one is territory. The noun territory is another word for land. For example, we drove to an unfamiliar territory and got lost in the woods. Don't forget the double R in territory. Word number two is resemble. The adjective resemble means similar. For example, children often resemble their parents' appearance and sometimes their personalities. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. Re, zem, bu. Word number three is mansion. A mansion is a large house with many rooms. For example, the millionaire lives in a mansion to showcase all of his wealth. Do not spell mansion as M A N T I O N. There is no letter T in the word mansion. Word number four is snoozing. Another word for snoozing is sleeping. For example, I was snoozing under a tree until a magpie pooped on me. Do not spell snoozing as S N O O Z E I N G. Drop the letter E from the word snooze and add the letters I N G. Word number five is citrus. A citrus is a small tree that produces acidic fruits with a lot of juice. These fruits include oranges, lemons, limes, and grapefruits. For example, citrus fruits are rich in vitamin C, which can treat the symptoms of my cold. The word citrus starts with the letter C, which stands for vitamin C. Word number six is circus. A circus is a group that consists of clowns, acrobats, and animals, which travels around to different places and performs shows. For example, the children loved being taken to the circus because of the clowns. Animals and the amazing performances. The word circus starts with the letter C, not the letter S. Word number seven is vivacious. A vivacious person is lively and spirited. It means this person is fun to be around because of their happy nature. For example. Dora is a vivacious, bubbly explorer with a personality that seems to shine. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. V, V, S. Word number eight is chuckle. To chuckle means to laugh quietly. It's another word for giggle. For example, I started. To chuckle at the sight of the chicken chasing the dog around the garden. Don't forget the middle C in the word chuckle. Word number nine is janitor. A janitor is a person who takes care of a large building, such as a school, and who deals with cleaning, repairs, and other miscellaneous work. For example, the janitor spent the weekend cleaning and repairing the classrooms before school starts. Do not spell janitor as J A N I T E R. There is no letter E in the word janitor. Word number ten 
is foe. A foe is a baby horse. For example, the foe stumbled around in the stable and struggled to stand on its hoofs when it was first born. Word number 11 is quirky. A person who is quirky means they are strange but is still cool. For example, Goofy has a quirky sense of humour but he is lovable by many children. Word number 12 is disgusting. Another word for disgusting is gross or yucky. For example, the boy found a disgusting slimy worm wiggling in his rotten sandwich. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. Dis, gus, ting. Word number 13 is anxiety. When you're feeling worried or nervous, you are showing anxiety. For example, many children show anxiety when they first start kindergarten on their first day. The word anxiety contains the letter X. Word number 14 is cord. A cord is a string or rope. For example, mum used a cord to tie back the curtains so light can come into the house. Keep in mind this cord does not have the letter H. Word number 15 is chord. This chord with the letter H is a group of musical notes played at the same time. For example, the audience clapped when the pianist played his last chord to finish off the musical piece. Do not mix up the spelling and the meaning of word number 14 and word number 15. Chord and chord. Word number 16 is guest. A guest is a person who is invited to visit someone's home or a social occasion. For example, many guests were invited to the wedding to celebrate this special occasion. Don't forget the letter U in the word guest. Word number 17 is endearing. The adjective endearing means lovable and lovely. For example, Whitney Houston has an endearing and sweet voice when she sings I will always love you. The word endearing has the word dear which means darling and beloved. Word number 18 is a juice. If you adduce something such as a fact or a reason, it means you provide proof and evidence. For example, the defending lawyer was able to adduce evidence of his client's innocence. The word adduce has double D. Word number 19 is establish. When you establish something, it means you start or set up from the basis. For example, the teacher must establish rules for students to follow in the classroom. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. Is, tab, lish. Word number 20 is fractious. The adjective fractious means bad tempered and often is used to describe children. It's another word for naughty. For example, the fractious child threw a tantrum in the shopping centre and embarrassed her mum in public. The word fractious looks like the word fraction. 
word number twenty one is bizarre. Another word for bizarre is strange. For example, a man wore a bizarre outfit on the street and caught the attention of the public. Do not spell bizarre as b i double z a r e. There is one z and double r in the word bizarre. Word number twenty-two is outrageous. If something is outrageous, it means shockingly bad. For example, Bart Simpson apologized to his teacher for his outrageous behavior at school. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. Out, ray, jis. Word number twenty-three is breakfast. The meal eaten in the morning is called breakfast. For example, I ate scrambled eggs, bacon, sausages, and baked beans for my breakfast this morning. The word breakfast is a compound word. You can see the words break and fast in the word breakfast. Do not pronounce this word as. Break fast. Word number twenty-four is locksmith. A person who makes and repairs locks is called a locksmith. For example, since my parents forgot their keys inside the house, we had to call a locksmith to open the door. Word number twenty-five is daughter. A female child is referred to as a daughter. For example, the mother and her daughter went shopping together in the mall. Don't forget the letters G H in the word daughter. Word number twenty-six is cappuccino. A cappuccino is a type of coffee. That originated in Italy. For example, every morning, my mum makes herself a cup of cappuccino before she goes to work. Be careful with the spelling of this word, as it can be tricky. Do not spell cappuccino as C A double P U C H I N O. There is. No letter H. Word number twenty-seven is humiliate. When you humiliate someone, it means you embarrass them in a nasty way. For example, the bully tries to humiliate his victim by making scornful remarks. Break the word up to help you remember the spelling. Hu, me, li. Eight. Word number twenty-eight is pragmatic. The adjective pragmatic means dealing with a situation in a realistic or practical way. For example, Mum is a pragmatic person, so she always buys practical gifts for her son's birthday. A unicorn as a gift isn't being pragmatic. Don't forget the letter G in the word pragmatic. Word number twenty-nine is tunnel. A tunnel is an underground passage. For example, the train passed through a dark tunnel before reaching its destination. Do not spell tunnel as T U double N. L E. Word number thirty is hermit. A hermit is a person who lives by themselves and stays away from society. It is usually for religious reasons. For example, Saint Maroon 
was a hermit teaching in the mountains who made an impact in the Christian community. This brings to the end of our spelling list too. Keep practicing and good luck in your spelling test.